How to create crosswords for language learners. Here's a crossword. This is a picture crossword. I use crosswords quite a lot, particularly in self-study materials. So in workbooks or on-screen self-study materials. And in general, students seem to like them. They're a nice way to add some variety uh, for practice with vocabulary. Uh, typically, you can also use them in your main course book, but they're quite space hungry. Uh, and there are ways to make them kind of communicative so students work together in pairs uh, and you can use them in the breakout room in Zoom, for example. Anyway, here come a load of tips on creating them. Uh, I'm going to start by showing you a crossword uh, which I created for a lesson on the topic of money. Um, very simple to create, of course, and um, you can just go online and Google the phrase crossword maker and various sites will be suggested that will generate um, crosswords for you. Um, one site uh, I used for this one was called Crossword Labs. Crossword Labs, very straightforward. You type in the title of the crossword. So the title of my crossword is money. Then you type in the word and then you type in the clue and and then it automatically turns it into the crossword for you. Um, when I write clues, I often use a mixture of either definitions or I focus on word forms or I play around with it a bit. So lend, I've got the opposite of borrow. Uh, loan, the noun form of lend. Then for coin, I've written money, which is round and metal. So you can do different things when you're writing your clues. Um, but the neat thing is about these puzzle crossword puzzle makers is they just generate a crossword like this. Um, once you've got your basic crossword, you can play around with the clue format. So sometimes it's nice to make the clues gap fills. And instead of focusing on definitions, focus on things like collocations. So if we look at one across, I've taken the phrase, I need to take out a blank alone so we get that verb noun collocation to take out a loan or a fixed expression like are you paying by card or cash I use that in number two um, so you can create your clues that way uh, if the words that you've included lend themselves to pictures uh, you can go on a site like Pixabay and find the images for free um, and what I might do is I might take for two, four, and five, which are the words card, coin, and uh, note. Um, I might mix them in with written clues so there's a bit of variety, but it, it would depend what, what the words were, but pictures also work quite nicely as well. If you want to help students or bring down the level of the crossword slightly, you can provide some of the letters. So I could provide the clues and leave the, lesson, le um, the letters in the crossword like this. Or if I gave students this for homework and we'd been doing the vocabulary in class, I could actually give them this crossword without clues, but just the letters and say, this crossword is testing all the new vocabulary from today's lesson for homework. Go back through your course book or go back through your notes and see if you can complete the crossword with... Uh, money vocabulary and so it's like a, a revision activity uh, one other extension all of these are quite sort of um, their students writing the clues down and so on you can using crossword makers create speaking activities so in this one um, this is a pair work activity you fill in the crossword but you create student A's version which has four of the words in student B version which has the other five words in the case of this crossword and students sit opposite each other uh, or they go into the breakout room in Zoom and um, student B would say uh, what's one across and student A has to make up their own clue for the word loan or maybe they'd use it in a phrase like, I need to take out a mm. And so they're kind of helping each other with clues, but they're not allowed to say the words, obviously. Um, and so it becomes a kind of speaking activity that's, that's um, as quite motivating as they try to fill in the crosswords. 
I hope that was useful as ever. Add any questions, comments, suggestions to useful links or ideas that you've had when you've uh, created crosswords for students. Add them to the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more videos on the topic of materials writing.